Greetings, everybody. My name is Mr. Terry. I am from the Summerlin Libraries Children's Department. Today, I have something really special for you today. I have something called a puzzle hunt. Now, puzzle hunts are like normal puzzles, but they are a little bit harder and a little bit different. So what you can expect is that there will be no rules for these puzzles. Um, you have to try to figure it out yourself. Um, and the final answer to them is usually just a simple word or phrase right at the end very distinct and obvious final answer um, at the end of each part. So, if you want to try out this puzzle, um, I have this three-part puzzle in the description of this video that you can download. Let's take a closer look at this. So, uh, a puzzle hunt starts with three parts, or this puzzle hunt is three parts long. Uh, this first part is this hangman-looking puzzle. The second part here is this crossword-looking puzzle. And you can see all the colors on here. But just in case you can't, it is a colorblind version right here um, to help out with that. But they're the exact same things, um, so you don't want to do both. Um, and the third part is this jigsaw puzzle right there. Um, so uh, you'll be able to try to figure out those puzzles. Um, the answers is in a separate download in the description as well. Um, and uh, so you're pretty much ready to go and you're ready to get off and started. Um, both of all these puzzles, though, were great with our summer challenge. Um, our summer challenge this year has a reading component, as it always does, but it also has activities that you have to do for each level to complete it. Um, they, these count as those activities for sure. Um, so be sure to um, get uh, work on your summer challenge with these, and good luck and have fun. All right, so you are ready to try to solve these puzzles as they were made, as they were intended. However, they are a little bit hard. So if you want some hints uh, or the, some of the rules for these puzzles, keep on listening. Otherwise, stop the video. So for this first part here, part one is uh, like a hangman type puzzle I said before, where each small dash will represent a letter, um, per, one per dash. And so your goal is to go through these codes or these these hints and then figure out their overall themes so you can figure out what the actual codes are and figure out which letter uh, is beneath each, like which letter it might be number or letter number 11 or letter number eight. And then you'd be able to fi fill in the final question on the very bottom uh, to, get, to figure out what the final answer is to this puzzle. Um, as an extra guide, the blue arrow pointing towards the blue box makes another different, uh, makes two different words that you can use to figure out the first letter for clues that you don't quite know, that are extra challenge compared to the other ones. So for part two, it is a standard crossword puzzle, however many of these clues have multiple answers or they have like a large variety of um, possible solutions and many of them don't seem to fit into this puzzle but in the top right it says quote you should know that each answer will be a and then it gives you seven red squares so it tells you what type of answer each of these um, crossword clues are going looking for and so to, to really help you get started with some of the other ones try solving all the crossword clues with the red squares first all right, and then for the third puzzle is a jigsaw puzzle. I gave out a lot of hints for this one because it was, it was one of the more confusing ones, the original versions. This one it should be way better. And um, you're looking for to make these uh, the, the puzzle pieces fit into a square. And the fact that there are 81 smaller squares inside should help you figure out the size of the the main square um, and the, it says in the top right that dot seems pretty central to the solution too that is because that, that dot is the center square of the larger square overall and so these clues the small numbered and letter clues they read um, in three parts in the top left uh, piece it says 14a1 and then going to the next piece it's 1d1 and 21a2 that's how you read those, and those help keep the pieces facing up, so you don't need to turn or rotate these pieces to make the bigger square. And it also is looking for 
a letter for each one of those clues. For example, the one given is 6A1 should lead you to the letter W. Uh, you might want to try to figure out what those mean, so you can plug in the final letters into the completed square and find a, the final answer to the third part. Alright, good luck and have fun.